Here's a par five, 561 yards, dog leg to the right. This hole doesn't appeal to my eye, but I still have to work myself around the golf course. It's a dog leg right, and that's normally not my strong suit off the tee box. I like hitting a little baby, a baby draw. But I do have a shot in my two box, four holes like this. It's my version of the Tiger Stinger. I'm gonna take a three quarter swing. And if you remember the, happy, the hockey slap shot release, and I'm gonna finish with an abbreviated finish. That shot normally gives me a little baby power fade. So that's the shot I'm gonna hit on this hole. And then I will go to the next shot after that. But when you have holes that don't appeal to your eye, you still have to manipulate yourself around the golf course so you can stop yourself from getting that blow up hole. Take that to the track. Work on shots that's gonna make you uncomfortable. At least you have them in your two box. came off better. I couldn't have wrote this better than that. I took it off with a little power fade up over the little right around the tree line and it worked out nice. Okay, the reason I was able to hit that shot is because I have that shot in my two box. Hold on. Get my scorecard. All right. I'm going to take you over here and show you on the on the marker how this whole plays. And you can see it. That's how that hose plays. A dog leg right with water on it. All right. So here we're going to go up here. So again, build your shots that you're going to be able to use. That way you can put them in your toolbox. And once they're in your toolbox, at least you have these shots that you can count on and you can depend on if you have to, that's what the name of the game is. Okay, so you see how these trees are here blocking everything out? Here's the fairway. And I took it right around the car path. The same way the car path is rolling, is turned around the corner, I hit that shot right around the bend. And look at that. I mean, you can't ask for nothing better than that. That is position A right here. And I, I just cut this hole in half. This is a part five, and they go to 200 yard marker. And I, um, I probably got 180 to the pin. All right. So we're going forward, up over the water in the whole nine yards. All right. Okay. There we go. All right. So I cut this hole in half, and since I cut it in half um, by going around the cart path, I had a three iron in my hand, but I'm gonna. Draw back, I'm gonna take a four iron. And um, I can't play from the left because it's water, but I can start this ball off on the right hand side and bail out if I need to and try to draw it back on the green. So that's my shot shape on this one. missed that ball and um but I got a really good result out of it so I'm not gonna complain off of it you got a really good um result from this ball they working on the course out here I said I haven't played this course in a long 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 time There we go. See it? So that's a hell of a miss right here. I'll take you up here right here. There you go. It's down in the rough. But we'll set up for this shot on the par five. 
Like I said, I missed this shot. I'm, I'm actually missed the ball. I mean, I didn't miss the ball. I hit the ball. But but at the same time, um, I didn't hit the shot that I normally want to hit. So we'll set up we'll set up on this. And I'm just gonna pitch it onto the green. The pin's right in the front. And I'm just gonna pitch it right on the green real quick for the sand wedge down in there. Okay, now I would ask for um in a tournament, I would ask for a ruling on here because that's a drainage. All right, you can see right there that's the drainage they built into the course to drain into the lake right there. You can see the pipe and everything. So I would take a, I would ask for a ruling um, from a, um, a administrator, and I was, I would be able to receive me a drop, a, cl a full club, no closer to the hole. Okay, so I took my drop out of the drainage. You can see where they built right there through the drainage. I did it from knee height, and then I did it twice because the first one bounced toward the hole, and then the second one I bounced and I marked it, and I put the ball right where it belongs. That's money right there, baby. Okay. So we own the green in three on a par five. See the drainage all the way through and it drains right down. Yeah, so look out for those type things. All right. And then we'll set up right here real quick. And we'll go ahead and put on out and get out of here. Got a chance for birdie on this hole. So let's go ahead and try to get it. Birdie, baby. See that? Birdie. Can't ask for no more than that. I cut the hole in half. I missed my second shot with the four iron. I made a great recovery with the pitch shot. I received my drop out of the drainage ditch, which didn't cost me nothing. I put a nice little soft pitch up there, and I made the putt for birdie. Keep grinding.